When we think of guardrails on the road, we think of things that are supposed to protect us. They're meant to be safety barriers when tragedy strikes, but Three News investigates found controversial guardrails, even questioned by its own manufacturer. They remain on Northeast Ohio roads. Three News investigator Marissa signs and covers why the state has not taken them off the road. And we do want to warn you some images may be difficult to watch. The journey to a stable life today has been a winding road of challenges for Amy Vitelli. They're all from Cleveland. Behind the smile, a story and scars serving as daily reminders of how her life changed in a matter of seconds. I um, shattered this part of my leg up here from about here to here. I lost all of that muscle, so my leg doesn't straighten all the way. November 24th, 2012. It's early morning, 8 a.m. Amy wraps up an overnight shift at Metro Hospital, where she worked as a nurse. Somebody had said the roads were icy. On Highway I-71, she loses control of her car. I hit a patch of ice. Veering off the road, Amy can see she's headed toward a guardrail. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna hit this guardrail. I'll be fine. Within 20 minutes, I was coming back as a trauma. A shattered left leg, shattered ribs, a broken pelvis, and part of her thigh missing. Amy is rushed back to the same hospital she just left. It came up through the front driver's side wheel well, um, through, um, straight through the driver's seat and out through the back window. My coworkers that had just said goodbye to me didn't recognize me as I was being brought in. The guardrail she hit was manufactured by Trinity Industries, a Dallas-based company. It's the same company that manufactures ET Plus guardrails. That's claimed the lives of drivers across the country and recently here in Cleveland last November. A 46-year-old Brooklyn man was killed after crashing into an ET Plus on I-71 northbound. Nearly 200 feet of the guardrail speared the car. Lawsuits over ET Plus guardrails have been filed, ending in million-dollar settlements in several states and are no longer manufactured. However, they're still on Northeast Ohio roads. The Ohio Department of Transportation confirmed nearly 1,600 ET Plus guardrails line the roads in 17 Northeast Ohio counties. Our three news investigation uncovered emails dating back to 2005 when Trinity President Rodney Boyd wrote, quote, what will be our liability exposure if someone has an accident and the folded rail enters into the vehicle and kills or maims someone. Then the lawyer finds the crash test and says it is inherent to the design for this to happen. It did it during the crash test. This shouldn't be normal. Steve Imers has dedicated his life to guardrail safety and evolution after his daughter Hannah was killed instantly by a guardrail in Tennessee in November of 2016. We have equipment that at a minimum has been called into question in multiple spearing crashes, and we have equipment. This was a $56 million fraud in the state of Missouri. Why is it not a problem in Ohio? Eric, my husband, there's Mark, my youngest. For Amy, she's come a long way in 10 years. It was trying to get back to normal, you know, just doing stuff with the kids, and that's when it really hit, like, I can't do things and feeling people you know, making judgments or looking, it was, that was really rough. But she uses those same hardships now to inspire others. You feel like my life's over, but seeing somebody who's thriving, who's able to work, it's encouraging. We did ask for ODOT's records of ET plus guardrail replacements and are still waiting for them. Meantime, the agency says any ET plus guardrails in place today will only be replaced by a different guardrail if it is damaged. Marissa Signs, 3 News.